two members of a couple are identified as carriers of the same disease, they face a 25% risk or a 1 in 4 chance with every pregnancy to have a child with that disease. These families have options, so they definitely can have healthy children as long as they know what their options are. The earlier they know, the better. Some couples choose to pursue in vitro fertilization with something called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, whereby the embryos are tested for the disease in question and only the healthy embryos are used to conceive a pregnancy. Some couples will choose to test the fetus during pregnancy and use the information to either be better prepared for the birth of an affected child or to make the difficult decision to end the pregnancy. Still other couples may choose a sperm donor or an egg donor, they may opt for adoption, or they simply may exercise the right not to have children. There are some couples who choose to do carrier screening prior to engagement, and if they're both carriers of the same disease, they choose not to get married. A genetic counselor would never tell a patient what to do, rather we would provide the options. A couple can then take that information to their rabbi or spiritual advisor and try to figure out what is the best option for them. It's a really personal decision and the genetic counselor is there to help provide guidance but never to place judgment.